AZ car spun me out, but they his crew was telling me that uh, another guy got into him, which is possible. I don't know, but you know, just just part part of the it, how it goes. From my vantage point, I finally got by the, the eighteen. You know, I've been following him for several laps there. I finally got by him, and then we go in the next corner, and you know, he spins me out. And I'm sure it probably wasn't on purpose, but I just. Like I said before, I'm just tired of getting wrecked and getting run into. So I just showed my displeasure. You know, I didn't like crash him or anything. But, you know, if, if he wasn't the cause of it, you know, um, I apologize for doing it. I'm not sorry. But um, he'll know that if he wrecks me again, I'm going to do the same thing or worse. So, um, yeah. I, and then, like I said, if it wasn't his fault, then I apologize. But if it was, well, then I'm not sorry. How, how tough is that dynamic kind of in dirt racing with how frequently you guys race against each other? I know we're kind of seeing a chaotic and kind of a debate uh, on the NASCAR side of things with how cordial and, you know, where to act and how to get guys to stop racing you dirty. How do you get guys to stop racing you dirty here? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to start running over them. That's all I know. Um, it seems to be a common kind of uh, opinion that, you know, some guys that are getting ran like that, around motorsports, IndyCar, NASCAR, are like, I guess I got to start wrecking some guys to maybe get people to not do it to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I hate to have that mentality, but um, when I was growing up in the sport and earning respect, I didn't go in there and blast over people. You know, I, I've made some mistakes and, and hit some people, and I apologize for it, And but then I've also gotten run back over for it also. But I, I knew when I did something wrong, but I don't go – it was just different, I think, when I grew up. Our cars weren't quite as good as they are now. You can't drive them as hard all the time. The tires weren't as good. So the pace was slower, and it was more smooth and methodical. Where now we're just on the gas all the time. Uh, a slider is a pass now because our our cars are so equal that it's really hard to pass. So that, that plays into it also, and, and I get it. You know, I'm not I'm not going to get mad just because somebody bumps into me. That That's fine. I mean, I get it. I I screw up all the time and bump into somebody, but I don't go in there and just take them out. But, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to how to stop it all in general because, like, the cars are as much as fault as the drivers. But you got to be smart and respectful to who you're saying racing against every weekend. I mean, we race a 100 times a year, and most of the time it's against the same guys. But, you know, I can, I can name a, a bunch of people that I race with all the time that, you know, we might rub or nothing, but they've never spun me out or I've never spun them out or, or even hit hard. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, I hate it happen. Um, we was finally coming back, and I, I know it rubbered, and, you know, that played into it a little bit too. There was a lot of, of things, you know, obviously wasn't going right for the racetrack and the cars for to be a lot of passing. Um, the lane got, you know, really narrow coming off of four but in three it was still you know really slick getting in so it is what it is you know uh we're just gonna move on to it i'm gonna forget about it and go on to the next one how excited are you for pdc uh not at all because i'm not going all right there we uh, go yeah i'm uh i'm finally taking my family on a cruise for a couple of days it's my my wife's birthday and we usually celebrate it at the pdc or i don't see her for a birthday so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break, let my guys have a couple days off here, and then uh, hit it back hard again for the rest of the year.